Hey, what's up guys? I am Joe from Workbench, and this week we're gonna talk about how to use Greeble textures to make wipes in After Effects. So this week I was watching a cool tutorial on EJ's iDesign YouTube channel by David Aryu. Hopefully I'm saying that right. And it was about making Greeble patterns for use in Octane for displacement. But of course we can also use those patterns as mats for reveals and all sorts of stuff in MoGraph. For a more in-depth look, check out their tutorial link below. The main difference between ours is that I actually used a gradient of colors from white to black, so I could guarantee some complexity and kind of be more specific about the range of colors and how I want the things to move. The first one is very deliberate in how the things are supposed to transition off, and the other one is a true greeble pattern so that we get a very randomized motion. And in making these two patterns, I made available for free on the website, so check that out. All of these take advantage of the CC image wipe effect, but of course you can use mats in a lot of different ways. So let's take a look. This is an actual up close of that first pattern. And other than a couple of places where I messed up, it's actually just a gradient of horizontal blocks. Just repeat it over and over diagonally. And if you put that straight onto some text with some CC image wipe, it looks like this. It's pretty nice. So one thing that might be a little bit annoying with CC image wipe is that you need to pre-compose a lot of stuff. However, if you actually take this mat and turn on continuously rasterize, you can still change it and have it update in here, even though you're not changing it in the pre-comp. With some more complex stuff, that won't work. But here, that's a great use of this continuously rasterized switch. Put that back real quick. So that's kind of what we did with the second one right here. It goes a lot thinner one way and a lot wider the other way. So you get very thin, like almost TV scan line type stuff. Then I thought that was kind of boring, so then I made another mat. And this is just that same mat with another copy turned 90 degrees and the one is displaced by the other. And that gives you something like this. And obviously you can change it up in a whole bunch of different ways once you have it set like that. So we can go back to the normal wide size, get something kind of interesting like that. And then I messed around with it even more, making it really tiny. But of course you can make it super big and get more blockiness. Go down to like 10%. Could it just be some odd dissolves? And then I was kind of bored with that, so I decided to make this other greeble pattern that you saw earlier. And I turned it 45 degrees, so you get something cool like this. And of course, we can make that smaller. So you get something more like that. It's getting cut off over here on the side. But since we have that continuously rasterized thing going on, we can turn this on and see how it actually covers it. This like 8%. Turn that back off. And of course, like in the other tutorial, you can take this pattern, put it into another pre-comp, and stack it and do all sorts of stuff with it. So that's yet another example of something that I really love, watching another tutorial and finding something that you can apply to your own work in a completely different fashion. Also note that CC Image Wipe wipes from black to white, so the black areas will disappear first. All right, guys, that's a quick tip for this week. If you have any comments or questions, leave them in the comments down below. And if you feel like helping to support what I do, check out patreon.com slash workbench. And thank you to everybody who's helped support us and bought our products. Make sure you check us out on workbench.tv. And as always, I am Joe, and I'll see you guys next week. Greeble, greeble. Bye. Greeble.